Alex Wagner's comments on Joe Biden's uniformly negative response to his debate postponement. Leadership effects, public awareness, and the result of overpreparedness. I want to go to our colleague Alex Wagner, who is on site in Atlanta. She has been watching the debate in the spin room. Uh, Alex, what's the reaction that you've been hearing there? Um, I, I'm not going to put a, a fine sheen on it uh, or, or, a, or a spin on it, even though I'm in the spin room, Rachel. There has been a uniformly negative reaction to Biden's performance tonight. Um, surely, as you know, Joy said, this was about revealing who Donald Trump was, but it was also Joe Biden battling a caricature of of himself as an enfeebled person, an impression that Trump has been eager to convey to the country. And he did nothing to disabuse, I think, the country of the notion that he is very old and was lost frequently in that debate. I mean, on answers that should have been, to put it bluntly, a layup for him, whether it was abortion or the attack on abortion medication, his answers were rambling and incoherent. He turned an answer, he turned a, a response on abortion into uh, uh, a mention of a migrant killing. I mean, this is a person that clearly was overprepared and mm -hmm. had a lot of different points that were sort of swimming around in his head. And as a result, it felt like it, you know, the answers that were legible, if you will, were not nearly delivered with the force and the clarity that they should have been. And I will say Donald Trump was in some ways the most Trumpy he, he has been lately, uh, full of lies and misinformation. But it was almost an afterthought. I think the, the, the press that I've spoken with and the sort of the focus in this room is just, you know, the Biden campaign wanted this debate. This was their idea. And this is what happened as part of their strategy. It is confounding. We were told earlier this evening that the Biden spin team would be only making brief remarks in the room. Um, and I don't know whether that is indicative of a group of people who ha who understood the weaknesses that their candidate had in advance of of this debate. But you can surely understand the logic of that after the fact. Criticism of Joe Biden's debate performance is not just a critique of his skills, but a profound questioning of his leadership. The notion that Biden has failed to shake off the image of a frail man lingers, casting a shadow over his ability to lead effectively. The president's inability to present his stance clearly and forceful in debates is seen as a missed opportunity to assert his leadership strength. Authenticity, personal responsibility, and the existential battle with his limitations are at the core of Biden's struggle to communicate effectively under pressure. Alex Wagner's remarks underscore this struggle, highlighting the essential need for leaders to confront their limitations and engage with the public transparently and sincerely. For meaningful political participation, it is imperative for leaders to be clear and honest. Biden's perceived shortcomings have a significant impact on the public's collective spirit, fueling uncertainty and distrust among voters. The perception of his overpreparation and lack of clarity during debates further erodes public confidence in his leadership and decision-making abilities. The public's reaction to Biden's debate performance is a reflection of broader concerns about his suitability for office and the effectiveness of his campaign strategy. A uniformly negative response underscores the need for a more genuine and responsive approach, suggesting that a shift in strategy could have been more impactful. In the end, it is not just about debate skills, but about the ability to connect with and earn the trust of the public. 